George Curry was born in West Point, Prince Edward Island, New Canada, in 1871, the second of six children. When George was young, his family moved to the dusty town of Chadron in northwest Nebraska, where he started rustling cattle as a young man. Curry grew tired of the farm life, and soon he began making his way further west. He gained the nickname Flatnose, possibly from a horse kick, and drifting around the west picking up old jobs as a cowhand, thief, or wrestler. At some point along the way, possibly while working at a ranch in Texas, he met Harvey Logan, who adopted his last name and became known as Kid Curry. The kid's brothers, Lonnie and Johnny Logan, followed his example also adopting Curry as a last name. Kid Curry would go on to become one of the most dangerous and feared gunmen of the Old West. In perhaps his first well-known crime, a 26-year-old George Curry formed a loose-knit gang with the Kid and held up the Butte County Bank at Belle Forge, South Dakota on a warm summer day in June 1897. The bank was considered to contain $30,000. However, the outlaws walked away with less than a hundred. All the bandits except Tom O'Day, the lookout, whose horse had run away, escaped with about $97. The group ran west, across North Dakota and Wyoming, and into Montana. Frustrated with their failure in Belfort, they quickly began planning another heist. However, a determined posse caught up with them in Fergus County, Montana, and captured George, along with the Kid and Walt Putney. In the ensuing shootout, Kid Curley was severely wounded in the wrist. The reluctant prisoners were taken down to the Deadwood Jail and locked up. However, they escaped in November by overpowering the jailer. The three outlaws stole horses and fled back to Montana, stealing supplies as they went. But it wasn't long before another posse caught up with them, this time in the Bear Paw Mountains. There was a gunfight from which the fugitives escaped on foot, leaving their stolen goods and horses behind. They retreated to the hole in the wall, robbing two post offices on the way. At the hole in the wall, they were involved in a gun battle with another posse, but the rough terrain and the defensive structures built and manned by the several dozen outlaws hiding there were too much for the lawmen. Platnos participated in the infamous Wild Bunch raid on the Union Pacific Overland Flyer train at Wilcox, Wyoming on June 2, 1899, which became highly publicized. The Overland Flyers train crew provided descriptions of the robbers, which local Converse County Sheriff Josiah Hazen recognized as being Butch Cassidy, Kid Curry, Flatnose, and Elsie Lay. Hazen immediately formed a posse, but Kid and George shot and killed Hazen during his posse's pursuit, which slowed the posse down. In the ensuing confusion, the Wild Bunch were able to wade downstream and escape without their horses. The outlaws walked to a sheep ranch at Castle Creek, where they rested, before continuing to the Tisdale Mountains on the North Fork of the Powder River. Here, they were able to obtain replacement horses and resupply 
Subscribe now so you don't miss the new episode. Although the posse greatly outnumbered the gang, and could cover a lot of ground in their search, the Wild Bunch reached the safe stronghold of the Hole in the Wall hideout again. Meanwhile, Pinkerton agent Charlie Seringo contracted Tom Horn, and the two developed information that identified Kid Curry as killing Sheriff Hazen. There were never any definite accounts connecting Kid Curry to the killing of Deputy Dean, but rumors uncovered by Seringo while he worked undercover indicated that Kid Curry had been the killer. The Currys and some of the other members of the Wild Bunch went to hide at Robber's Roost in Utah after getting supplies at the ranch of female outlaws Josie and Ann Bassett. Almost a year after the Overland Flyer heist, George Curry was shot and killed on April 17, 1900, by Sheriff Jesse Tyler, while Curry was wrestling in Grand County, Utah. Upon hearing of this, Harvey Logan, who was also enraged by the recent law enforcement killing of his younger brother Lonnie in Missouri, vowed to get revenge. And in May, Kid Curry rode from New Mexico to Utah and took revenge for his brother and George Curry's death by killing Sheriff Tyler and his deputy, Sheriff Sam Jenkins, in a gunfight. George was 29 when he was shot and killed. His body was taken back to Nebraska and is buried in the Greenwood Cemetery in Chadron. <laughs>